This is what bothers a lot of people. And they see the Federal Reserve printing up all this money, uh, trillions of dollars into the economy, but it doesn't make it to Main Street. Outside of perhaps student loans and a few car loans, where's that money? I mean, did they just buy all the junk assets you know, of the banks? Uh, Who, who's making all this cash? Look, I, I think that the... The, the irony of the whole situation is if the president had his way, they would be uh, an evening out of the income structure. Okay? Mr. Bernanke understood that the severity of the recession, that what he had to do is to get the employment level up. To get the employment level up, he had to get the economy growing. To get the economy growing, he had to create wealth. And you're going to create wealth for the stock market. The trouble is, there's a maldistribution of the ownership of stocks. You know, Again, been, so Main Street's not participating. But we have in to it. rely upon some fiscal policies to basically. So what should the Fed do? They had a Fed meeting today. Uh, I don't know. They they hinted that maybe they're going to do something this year. It might be symbolic, 25 basis points. When when do we get something that will help Main Street? Are we just out of luck over the next year and a half? I mean, just not. No, I hope not. Look, there's 200,000 more people going to work every month. The economy's recovering. It's growing at a subpar level, but it's growing. Two two and a half percent. We're the you know the tallest man in a bunch of midgets. We're the best of the performing economy in the world today. We're growing better than Europe. We're growing better than uh, um, uh, Japan. But see, that, that's not good enough, Lee. I mean, because that's, no, I when, you get, that's I understand. when you get resentment when someone's paycheck has gone from fifty six thousand to fifty two thousand. And in the meantime, the guys on Wall Street are becoming richer and richer. That's where the resentment comes in. I don't think the guys on Wall Street have asked for this. I think that. Uh, you know, every business cycle I'm aware of starts out in the financial sector where the recovery begins first, then it spreads out to Main Street. And we're starting to see that. We're going to start to see some modest acceleration in wages. We're seeing a growth in employment. We're talking about a $15 minimum wage or whatever, $10, 10 or $15. Wouldn't whatever. that have a detrimental impact ultimately? On, on certain industries, yeah, yeah, on certain industries. Um, you know, Warren Buffett has written about this, saying be careful in what you're doing. Uh, uh, Germany has one of the most successful economies in Europe, and they have no minimum wage. But they also have a strong. So, unions. real quick, I think I mischaracterized saying that you were a raging bull, but you've been impressed with this bull market. Yeah, you think I, it continues I, a little well, bit? I, I think what's going for us is basically number one, stocks have been and continue to be the best house in the financial asset neighborhood. Uh, if my choice was to buy uh, a U.S. government bond at 2.15% for 10 years, or less than 3% for 30 years, or keep my money in cash earning zero, or buy a stock selling at 15 or 16 times earnings growing 6, 7, 8% a year, to me it's hands down. I'd rather have my money in the stock market. Also, even my historical analysis of the market, generally speaking, bear markets come about for one of four reasons. And I don't see those reasons present. At least three of the four I can forecast, one I can't. The first reason the market goes down a lot is the stock market's smart. It's a leading indicator. Sure. It smells the oncoming recession. There's no economist I'm talking to that sees a recession in the next 12 months. Right. In fact, if there's anything scary, the economists I talk to tell me they don't see a recession for three or four years. Okay, so that's number one. Uh, and all the different leading indicators don't point to recession. Uh, number two, uh, basically, is we get into a euphoric environment. The market gets very overvalued. We're not euphoric. We know that. We're not, what's not, the, what's people People are redeeming out of uh, equity sure. funds, putting money in fixed Absolutely. income funds. Absolutely. People we're not, we're not, sold, we're not, sold their stocks. The third reason you have a bear market, basically, is the Fed, the Fed takes the punch out of the punch bowl, uh, and the market goes down uh, because what the Fed is doing. But I'll give you some statistics without standing like a statistician. From the first, since the mid-1950s, there have been eight interest rate cycles. On average, the market rose for 30 months after the first Fed rate hike, and the shortest period of time it rose for was 10 months. Okay. On average, for those eight cycles, the market was 10% higher one year after right. the first Fed rate hike. So the, mar so the Fed raises rates. We have that knee-jerk move to the downside. It's a buying opportunity. Yeah, Maybe. I would say. Lee, we got to go? I really appreciate it. I really mm -hmm. am honored that you showed up. Uh, I admire you. I admire your work ethic, and I admire the things that you're trying to do. We yeah, appreciate thank it. Thank you very much. I appreciate Thanks your kind words. I really words. appreciate it. Thank you.